The cool waters of Wakulla Springs makes it a popular place to beat Florida's heat. Tourists lounge on the main beach, while the locals prefer the opposite bank. Despite the cold-blooded company, people have visited these historic springs for years. But for how long is a mystery archaeologists hope to solve? <laughs> National Geographic grantee Jim Dunbar and his research team are searching for signs of the first Floridians, Ice Age people who may have come to Wakulla for a spring break over 10,000 years ago. If you could project yourself back into time, uh, you would see a Florida that looked like the Serengeti in terms of the animal population it had. And where would animals go like that? They would come around maybe oases where there was plentiful water resources. And with, uh, say, large herbivores that come in, what else would come in? The predators. It could be a saber-toothed cat, it could be something like that, or it could be people. The crew is hoping to hit pay dirt, prehistoric tools left behind by an Ice Age hunter. In the search for Stone Age tools, digging's done the old-fashioned way. Each bucketful gets carefully screened for the smallest clues. And the sand itself is helping geologists unlock the age of their discoveries. Quartz crystals in the sand naturally emit a radioactive signal that gets reset when exposed to light. By testing the signal, geologist Jack Rink can tell how long ago this sand layer was buried. Jack takes a core sample to study in his lab and gets a reading on radiation levels. In a couple of months, we'll know how long it's been since this sand was last exposed to light. And by relating that information, we can say that the artifact was deposited at the same time as when the sand was exposed to light. And that gives us a date on the artifact itself. Partway through the dig, the archaeologists have found hundreds of small artifacts, mostly small flakes from stone hunting tools. A short distance away, clues begin to surface as to what was on the prehistoric dinner table. A dive team led by underwater archaeologist Andy Hemmings sets out to investigate fossilized mastodon bones at the bottom of the springs. It's forensic science at 25 feet deep. While the team takes notes, Andy makes a fascinating find. Deep grooves on a mastodon fossil. It could be the work of an Ice Age hunter. While the divers explore underwater, geologists Tom Scott and Harley Means are heading out on a different expedition. This one's underground with the help of special ground penetrating radar. They may look like Ghostbusters, but this gear really works. The radar reveals denser objects, such as fossils buried below. So, you know, conceivably, uh, we'd have to ground truth this to see if this were a bone or, or some archaeological material, but any one of those little reflections down in the sediment column there certainly could be. Back at the dig site, Jim's team strikes gold. Lo and behold, right in this location, uh, we found a tool that we believe, I, I would call it a, a benchmark. A well-preserved knife. Jim guesses that this point could be 14,000 years old, more than 1,500 years before people were thought to have arrived in Florida. It'll take months for test results to reveal whether the tool belonged to one of the first Floridians. In the meantime, Jim and his team will just have to wait. Fortunately for them, Wakulla Springs isn't such a bad place to pass the time. Sponsored by National Geographic Mission Programs.
taking science and exploration into the new millennium.